Hey guys, welcome to the 103rd Anime Girls Profile Confidential. And this one's a unique one because um, I have to thank Save Us Park for this because I didn't know if anybody was going to cover this show. And he did recently on his uh, video, his quick vid, which was a quick a combination of his quick vid series and his what the hell series or what the hell is series. And what he covered was P. Padoo and the Super F Friends. I'm just going to say it like that. And um, he talked about the show as best he could. And um, excuse me, there got a bit of allergies right now. Uh, but like I said, he talked about the show best he could. And one of the characters that he talked about that, well, was basically a standout in the show is one of the re reasons, you know, um, you know, the show gets noticed and talked about at times um, is Dr. Pussycat, or as she's known, according to a lot of um, people online, according to Google, Dr. Monique uh, Pussycat, Dr. Monique pussycat and uh let's just say um she is known um as you can probably tell by the images used in this um <laughs> she is known for certain assets both in front and in back and i say that with no offense um but basically this show um when uh the people behind it you know, got it off the ground, and they got it off the ground with the support of people at Kickstarter that wanted to see more of it, and they have it up listed on their uh, website. Um, you know, obviously, not only was it the way of teaching adults, you know, sex education, actually doing a sex education show for adults, but it was also to kind of poke fun at the fact that, you know, when you look at these kind of weird, anthropomorphic-like shows and all that, that, you know, basically it's always meant to be aimed at younger kids and to teach kids lessons and all that. And uh, these people said, no, screw that. You know, we've been doing that before with other networks, and now we're going to do something a little bit different. And, uh, of course, as Sabersbark pointed out in his uh, video, this show is, you know, has such, you know, a very risque NFSW uh, reputation that no service would pick it up. Not Netflix, not HBO Max, nobody. And it had to be, like I said, funded through Kickstarter by people that wanted to see more of it because it became such a massive hit after just a couple of you know episodes and literally one season that now it's in its second season. Um, that, you know, again, you know, people, it became so massively, ma massively popular, excuse me there, massively popular that fans wanted to see more of it um and so we ended up getting a, a second season which we're currently in now you know as far as dr monique pussycat goes like i said she's one of the reasons it got a lot of notoriety and it got talked about because of the way she is designed uh in the show because of, like I said, certain assets that she has in the back and the front. And I say that with all due respect, no offense. And um, she's also, kind of, well, you know, of course, being a doctor in the show, she's kind of like the educator, not just for the characters in the show, her friends, but she's also an educator for the, the viewers, for the adult viewers watching the show as well. And, you know, she gets... Um, put into situations to where, from what I can tell, she has to, at times, literally utilize her uh, certain assets, if you will, to help out. That is no joke. And um, I'm not going to show any of that here. You can check that out on Google. You can Google it, and you'll see exactly what I mean. Um, but yeah, she... And you could Google it by going with, you know, just regular JPEGs or GIFs, if you will. But like I said, that's about it. And uh, overall, you know, from what I've noticed and from what people like Saber Spark has talked about, you know, again, like I said, she gets put into these situations where she literally has to sometimes utilize her, you know, assets to help her friends out. And, um, 
this this is put it this way like I think Saber Sparks said it best in his review uh, which I will link at the end here she is down to earth she's caring she's kind she's sweet she's you know she she does take her job seriously uh, she's fun loving and like I said obviously it seems that she will do what she has to do to protect her friends uh, those that she helps educate in this situation those that she you know takes on as potential um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for but you know she takes on as potential protégés you know those that can eventually step up and take over for her whenever she has to go somewhere like this one episode she have, she has the main title character um, you know step in for her while she goes to a seminar so you know these are people that no, she doesn't just consider like good friends and everything and she's willing to help out but she also looks at them as people that eventually could share in her practice of educating others about you know you know certain needs when it comes to sexual education especially from an adult perspective but yeah the the way she is designed um, in the show again obviously is one of the reasons people were attracted to the show it wasn't just the unique the other unique creative characters they had involved and it wasn't just the you know the weirdness and the raunch and the you know ultra raunchiness if you will I guess in the eyes of um, other you know streaming services and network that got people's attention to the show you know it wasn't just all that like the weird character designs and like I say the the weird out of nowhere um, ultra raunchiness and you know the unique kind of surprising take you know both verbally and visually when it came to certain topics uh, it wasn't just all that I mean I, I mean I mean obviously that was part of it but the main part that always it no matter how many no matter how much you look up the show just by name the one character that always comes up is dr. Monique pussycat dr. pussycat due to her design and again this is a character that is you know someone that's down to earth you know someone that's willing to help has a kind heart you know knows how to utilize her assets when she needs to like if she has to win a bottle cap challenge you like knocking a bottle cap off a bo off a bottle excuse me there uh, she, you know she will utilize her certain assets up front to, to do so again no offense and um, yeah that that's about it you know but again like I said you, you look on Google and there are images you know gifs if you will that show that she will to protect her friends to help her friends she will utilize her assets both front and back uh, to do so and again I say that with no offense all due respect no offense so yeah that's so yeah overall she's basically I mean even though you know P Peepadu is the main character uh, of the show is the central character of the show uh, and named out and basically is the title character of the show period mainly Dr. Pussycat's the one that is the main star and as far as you know Google is concerned the fans are concerned you know she's the main star you know P. P. Du might be like I say the title character and supposedly focused as the main focused and featured as the main star you know which the show is named after but she, Dr. Pussycat, is, in the eyes of a lot of folks, the main star. Like, yeah, that little peep -a doo you know, she, you know, she, it may be the main character, you know, which the show is titled after, but no. She's secondary compared to the real main character, Dr. Monique Pussycat. So, yeah, that's not really much more I can say. I mean, currently they're in a second season. Um... You know, and if they are exploring, you know, all these different um, aspects of sexual education, especially in the time that we're in now across this globe, uh, you have to wonder if they're going to have um, Dr. Monique Pussycat engage in any uh, lesbian, you know, situations possibly uh, in the second season not saying they would do that but again if they're trying to teach adults sexual education and they want to 
you know, basically uh, tackle you know, all subjects, especially in today's day and age, you have to wonder if maybe they're going to go that route. Because it looks like, according to what I understand, there have been several moments in the first season, and I think somewhat in the second season so far, that they've kind of teased that something might happen, you know, as far as that's concerned when it comes to uh, Monique. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see. But, yeah, I can't really say any, any more than what I can about Dr. Monique Pussycat. Uh, again, you know, she, you know, even though she's like, you know, a secondary main character. Well, not a secondary character. She's one of the, one is the, she's basically one of the main characters. You know, the, but she's, you know, you know, basically she's not like the star because, you know, Peepa Doo is the main star that the show is named after. Uh, even though she's not in that category, like I said, a lot of fans consider her, you know, to be in that category anyway. And again, no matter how much you look up the show on Google, just by its name, she's always the uh, image that pops up most of the time. So that basically tells me that in the eyes of the viewers, the fans uh, of the show, like I said, people do, you know, might be what the show is named after because, you know, she, it is the title character. But as far as I'm concerned, people do is secondary compared to uh, Monique Pussycat. Uh, but let me know what your thoughts are. You know, how do you feel about uh, this character? What do you, how do you, you know, where do you, you know, I, you know how, uh, basically what I'm trying to ask is, let me, how do you guys feel about this character? How do you feel she's presented in the show? If you've seen the show, um, do you think maybe, you know, the people behind it should just, you know, retitle it the Super F Friends so that all the characters are equal and, you know, it obviously would be an excuse to kind of like put Monique, you know, like up front as the main character as a lot of people see her. You know, what are your thoughts? How do you feel about the character overall? And, uh, you know, do you think, you know, possibly just to further this sexual education for adults uh, in the show? Uh, in the second season, and potentially a third season if they do it, uh, that she might engage in lesbian actions. What do you guys think? Um, and I say that with all due respect, no offense. But what do you guys think? Uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Comment if you like. And thank you for watching this 103rd edition of the Animated Girls Profile Confidential. And I will talk to you later. Stay safe. God bless. Get vaccinated if you can. And I am out.